Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we came up with an equation that describes the amount of heat that travels from the inside to the outside of a spherical shell with a radius of A on the inside, B on the outside, and a difference in the temperature between the inside and the outside that's expressed in terms of TA and TB. Now, let's say that we're given that the inside temperature is 100 degrees centigrade, the outside temperature is 20 degrees centigrade, the inside radius is 5 centimeters, the outside radius is 10 centimeters, and we're trying to find dQdt, the amount of heat transferring from the inside to the outside, assuming that the inside temperature and the outside temperature remain at 120 degrees centigrade. We're also given K, but in this case, K is given to us in terms of calories per centimeter times Kelvin. Later on, we'll convert that into more standard units, but let's see if we can work this problem out using these types of units. So let's plug everything into the equation and see what we get. So in this case, we get dQ dt is equal to 4 pi times k. Now k is going to be 0 0.002 calories per centimeter times Kelvin multiplied times a times b. So we have 5 centimeters multiplied times 10 centimeters divided by b minus a which is 10 centimeters minus 5 centimeters and the whole thing multiplied times the difference in the temperature ta minus tb which is 100 minus 20 and that would be centigrade degrees that's the difference in the temperature all right so let's simplify this so we have 4 pi times 0 0.002 times this would be 50 divided by 5 which is 10 and that would be 10 centimeters and then here we have centimeters that cancels out we have kelvin and we have calories so i didn't put in the calories so we'll put calories and kelvin here and let's see what else do we have here we have 100 minus 20 which is 80 centigrade degrees centigrade degrees so the centigrade degrees and kelvins cancel out as well and hmm I think I'm missing something. I think I need per second right here. So calories per centigrade degree per second. Uh, let me check on that. Joules per second, that's watts. Ah, it's, it's calories per second, so that makes sense now. Okay, I was forgetting the per second, so I need a per second there as well. Now makes sense because heat transfers in terms of calories per second. So let's work this out, see what we get using a calculator. So 4 times pi times 0 0.002 times 10 times 80. And that gives us 20.1 as a result. So this is equal to 20.1 calories per second. So that's equal to the dQ dt. Now, if you don't like calories, we can convert that to joules. And the conversion factor between calories and joules it is 4.186 joules per one calorie. So if you want that in joules per second or watts, we can say that times 4.186, that gives us 84, a little bit over, about roughly 84 joules per second or watts. So we can express in terms of watts, we can express in terms of calories per second. Now, if you don't like to use this K, we can convert this into joules. So we have a joule and a calorie. So one calorie is 4.186 joules. And then we convert from centimeters to meters. So we have meters and centimeters here. And one meter is 100 centimeters. So by multiplying this number by 418.6, we can actually convert it to the more standard K, which is the heat conductivity constant, in terms of joules per meter per Kelvin uh, per second. And so either way, you will get, end up with the very same result, either in terms of calories or in terms of watts. And that's how it's done.